And with the final pick of the first round of the 2022 NFL Draft, the Minnesota Vikings have selected Georgia safety Lewis Seen to add yet another defensive player from Georgia to the first round of this year's draft. Now, Lewis Seen is a very intriguing player. I have him listed currently at 6'1", 200 pounds with 32 and one quarter inch arms. Those are his combine numbers. Uh, this past year, he had 73 tackles, nine passes defense, and one interception. And why I say he's an intriguing player is, first off, he comes into a defense that has Harrison Smith, who recently signed a contract extension, but with the previous front office. So who knows how long he'll be there. They have uh, Cameron Bynum, who I actually liked quite a bit when they played on safety this past year. But I guess he's going to start over him or maybe even replace Harrison Smith if Smith gets traded or somehow they find a way to cut him in the next couple of years. But Seen is still a work in progress as far as coverage goes. He has the downhill capability. I mean, he's a missile going downhill. He'll be great against the run right away, and he rarely misses tackles. He has an under 10% missed tackle rate for his career in college and for every single season he was in college. So he's going to be really good tackling right away, and he's going to be really good coming downhill right away. That being said, like I said, coverage is a work in progress because, frankly, he does get beat over the top sometimes. Uh, he's not... I wouldn't call him an elite guy. He's not going to stick on anyone's hip, let's say that. He's not the most fluid guy when it comes to sticking with receivers. He gets stacked occasionally. Uh, he makes mistakes where he will take the eye candy and come forward and then have a guy go over the top of him. So there are some mistakes there. And his agility and fluidity, he's not going to be able to play man coverage. He cannot touch the slot. Like, don't even put him in there. Don't even try. It's not worth it. And he's only had one year with, you know, pretty high-level production, I would say. Uh, so there's some concern there that he's only had one year with decent ball production. Not a lot of penalties, though, despite the fact he's a pretty hard hitter. And now I say a hard hitter, I mean, like, oohs and ahs from the crowd level hitter. Like, he is going to pack a punch. And he's a real fun player to watch, I'd say. But in terms of what he brings to your defense, still a developmental guy. He's a fairly young player, though. I guess, well, he's about 22, 22 and a half. So he's, he's getting up there. But... A guy who I think has a lot of physical traits that would work really well in Minnesota's system. And I still have to see how he's going to play out with the new coaching staff. I see how things will change. But there's definitely a role for this guy on the NFL roster. I think a lot of people got the feeling going into the draft night that he wouldn't end up in the first round. And indeed, he just barely gets in by going 32nd overall to the Minnesota Vikings.